sleigh bells ring Are you listening In the lane Snow is glistening A beautiful sight Or oh, we're happy tonight Walking in a winter wonderland Hey guys, what's going on? California here And today I'm going to be showing you how to make these awesome crochet snowflake earrings just in time for the holidays. Now this is a very easy tutorial and even if you're a beginner at crocheting you can do this too. So I really hope you enjoy this. Please like this video and comment below let me know what you think and feel free to subscribe to my channel for more awesome crochet tutorials. And if you're interested in learning how to make a full-time or even a part-time income working online click the link below to find out what I do so that I'm able to work full-time from home and be with my baby boy all day. I will also put my Facebook link down below if you're interested in connecting with me personally and just let me know how I can be of service to you. Thank you guys for watching. Please enjoy. So I'm going to be using a size 2 millimeter hook and I'm going to be using crochet cotton number 10. So we're going to start off by chaining 4. And then we're going to do a slip stitch into the last chain from the hook to make a sliding loop. And then we're going to chain three. And we're going to do a double crochet back into the center of the loop. And then we're going to chain three. And then we're going to do two double crochets and in, back into the center of the loop. And our snowflake is going to have a total of six points. And so then we're going to do three um, chains and then two more double crochets back into the center loop. And so we're going to do this all the way around until we have a total of six sets of double crochets. Okay, so now that I have my six sections of two double crochets, I chain three and then I'm going to slip stitch into the beginning of the th um, three chains here in the first part. And then we're going to um, do a slip stitch into the top of the next double crochet. And then slip stitch into the chain, th uh, chain 3 space right here. And then we're going to chain 3. And then do 3 double crochets into that chain 2 space. Or chain 3 space, sorry. And then we're going to chain one, and then do four double crochets into the next chain three space. And our chain three here counts as our first double crochet, so that would be a total of four there. And then we're going to continue to do four double crochets into each chain three space. And then chain one and continue to do the same thing until you go all the way around. Okay, so I made my way back around. I chained one and now I'm going to slip stitch into the beginning stitches over here. Okay, and then we're going to slip stitch into each beginning um, uh, sorry, each beginning double crochet going over to that chain one space and then slip stitch right into the chain one space and then you're going to chain five and then we're going to slip stitch back into the chain one space and then we're going to chain five again And slip stitch back into the chain one space. 
Now we're going to chain 7. And then slip stitch back into the chain 1 space. And then we're going to chain 5 again. Slip stitch back into the chain 1 space. And then chain 5 one more time. Slip, slip, slip stitch back into the chain 1 space. And then we're going to um, slip stitch into each beginning double crochet to make our way over to the other chain 1 space. And once again, we are going to chain 5. And we're just going to continue to do the same thing in each chain 1 space. Do two sections of chain uh, chain fives, one section of chain seven, two more sections of chain fives for each point. Okay, so I made it all the way to the last chain one space, and now I'm just going to snip off my thread and fasten off. And so once you guys are finished, go ahead and sew in your loose ends and snip them off. And then go back to my channel and you'll find a video on how to crochet fish earrings. And in that video, um, at the end, I actually show you how to block and stiffen your earrings because it is essential for any pair of earrings that you make. So go back to that video and you will see at the end, I'll show you exactly how to stiffen them and then come back to this video, we'll see what our finished product looks like. Okay guys, we have finished our earrings and this is what your finished product should look like after you have stiffened your earrings. Now I added a little spray glitter um, to my earrings, I don't know if you can tell, but just to give it a little zazz and I'd say they look pretty amazing. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. Please like this video for me and comment below. Let me know what you think. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more awesome crochet tutorials. And be sure to click the link below and find out how you can make a full-time or even a part-time income working online. Thank you guys. Have a wonderful day.